This episode of Shooting the Shiznit is brought to you by WeHaveMerch.com. WeHaveMerch.com. Standard size shirts at only $12.99. Shirts include I'm a Shiznitter, my old buddy, Cool Kids Countdown logo, Shooting the Shiznit logo, Happy Shiznit Day, and many more. Order your shirt today at WeHaveMerch.com. Have you listened to episode 106? That's last week's episode released on Saturday. Listen to it now. Now here is a clip. Places and I would rent the uh, wrestling videos. I'd be simultaneously like renting like UFC uh, right, pay-per-views right. Uh, on video. So like I, I, obviously you can see the difference in the in the two. Um, and plus, I'm I'm sure at the time my father was probably also telling me that it was fake or you know whatever. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so I, I don't ever remember a time where like I thought it was real, but I do kind of like remember, um, like you said, with the internet craze and stuff when it exploded. I do remember like uh, being in middle middle school or whatever and having access to the the, the computer lab or whatever. And I remember going in and uh, ECW was, you know, kind of a big thing at the time. And uh, I remember going in and just like going to these wrestling sites and like looking up uh like uh the real names of wrestlers and like you know just all this uh what i thought was inside information and uh, i'd print these things out like and you know i don't know what i was doing but you know it was cool to me and so i thought i knew what was going on yeah i love that that we all that that was a big deal for everyone we want to know the real names and and then after you get in the business and you're around the guys no one calls them by their real names uh you know it's just so funny it's like uh Oh, so I know what his real name. Well, it doesn't really matter because we call him this. <laughs> you know exactly what his real yeah, name is. Like, like, like I have, uh, like, like even you know, friends of mine that are in the business. Uh, there's some of five, four, three, two, one, zero. Let's start the party. Hey, I'm going to bring my guest uh, over there from the green room, Fred. Fred, we've been talking about the pronunciation of your last name. Now, you said Fred Cotto, right? Well, yeah, or C- Cotto. 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 Yeah, Cotto. <laughs> a lot, a lot, now, lot of folks t- lot of folks call it Cotto. So, you know, just like Cotto Salami. Yeah, well, go ahead. You tell me. You tell me. You said you're originally from Puerto Rico, so tell well, me the actual pronunciation. Of yeah. Well, well, actually, my uh, my parents were originally from Puerto Rico, but I was uh, born and raised in New York City. Uh, so it's uh, if you would go to Puerto Rico, it'd be Coto. Okay. But uh, Coto? being yeah, but Coto, yeah, but since I'm here in the U.S., of course, in, in our country, my country, <laughs> uh, it's Cato. Uh, so well, what does, so what does our Cato. friend Dustin Starr call you? Oh, Cotto. <laughs> All right, there we go. Dustin Starr, we're giving you a shout-out at the very beginning there so you'll retweet for us. Oh, yeah, hey, I of want course. To bring you, yeah, guys, I just brought Fred over here from the green room. Fred's a longtime fan, and he ended up at WrestleMania weekend doing all kinds of stuff, but that's not the only fun thing. Fred is... Fred, you're everywhere, man. That's the way you're. I should play that song for you because I see you everywhere. But first, I want to talk. Uh, we'll just start talking about you as a fan and how you become a wrestling fan. Uh, what at what age and such did you become a wrestling yeah. fan? Well, as far as age, <laughs> I can tell you the year. As far as age, all uh, right. Uh, well, I can tell you the year. Uh, um, probably back in nineteen uh, late seventies. It was because uh, uh, I I I was born in raised in new york city but i moved down to miami uh for a few years and then i came back to new york and that's when i started catching the, the wrestling fever uh uh being that i i lived in new york i went to a lot of madison square garden cards wwf cards when uh bob macklin was the, was the champion and i used to watch a lot of those uh channel or wwr I think now it's WWR. Back then it was WOR. Yeah, WOR. Uh, WWF right, show. Yeah. yeah, back then I used to stay up late and watch and watch the watch the events events announced with uh, Bruno, and it was fun. You know, uh, uh, Captain Lou, Freddie Blassie, you know, the Pennsylvania geek, geeks and everything. It was much much of fun. And back then, 
Well, you said you went to Madison Square Garden as a kid. Now, how old are we talking? Didn't you? Wasn't there like an age you had to be to go to Madison yeah, Square Garden? Yeah, yeah. Well, you know, back then, I don't know what year they uh, they lifted it, but back then, uh, you had to be uh, at least uh, over uh, at least over sixteen to get into the shows. So I think I was around that age. I'm not too sure. <laughs> I can tell you the year, but I can't tell you the. You know the, you know, you know, you know how old I was back then. I'm pretty sure I was over sixteen. Awesome, awesome. And you said you saw back. Say I was not a huge Backlund fan, but uh, can you remember who Backlund was going against at the time? Any um, famous, famous matches that you could think he was there for? Yeah. Well, man, I'm uh, thinking, uh, thinking back, back now. Uh, just a lot of, uh, man, I'm thinking. He did a lot of interviews on the, you know, you know, to promote the the, the show at the Garden at the time. And uh, oh man, I can't think right now. Um, <laughs> Morocco, Morocco, I remember. Um, and uh, just a lot of other 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 did guys. They, I just don't remember yeah, right now. didn't they like try? They always built uh, WWE. Always had like uh, three three matches with the champion or something like that. And the third match was always. Uh, the cage match. That they exactly, would the exactly, yeah. exactly, exactly. Exactly. I always remember that every month, you know, you know, you know they they build it up, and then they, and then the last match would be the cage, you know, to end it all. Yeah, that right. was, yeah, yeah. You got a better memory than me. <laughs> <laughs> well, you you said you was uh, Miami, New York. I mean, Miami had. Was you into wrestling when you was in Miami? No, no, not really. No, because I was a, a little younger then, of course, you know. But now. Not much. Uh, of course, when I left to go to New York and started getting into wrestling, I knew I seen a lot of the uh, wrestling stars that were that were at that time were real big up in Florida, uh, down in Florida. Um, you know, Dusty Rhodes and the Grams and and just you know every everything back then was uh, was was a little you know bigger you know bigger back then. Yeah, yeah. Well, you know the the thing about it is, and and uh, with the WWE, they've always been the the big man, you know, group. It's uh, Vince Senior loved the big guys, and uh, Vince Junior is, uh, you know, he likes the big guys too. Uh, mm-hmm. But yeah, I can see growing up to it. It's a slower style now. Now you went from uh, New York, but s- now you live. Where are you living now? Oh, Mississippi. Uh, now, uh, tell me how you get to Mississippi from New York City. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> good, good question, right? Of course, I've been. Uh, um, like I said, I lived in New York and uh, came down here to Mississippi 20, 22 years ago. My okay. wife was from down from down, from down here in Mississippi, so everything up north is expensive. And and uh, I met her up there. She had a house that her brother was living in so we just decided to come down here because it was so expensive just to live up there and just <laughs> it's cheaper down here but of course mississippi is, is one of the uh poor states and but we manage <laughs> you know somehow <laughs> you know we manage i guess you know but, but yeah you know, i mean mississippi the they, you know the, I have all these jokes about wrestling in Mississippi. So, you oh, know, yeah. I mean, you know yeah. there's probably about four guys that know how to wrestle and rest of them pretend. So, but, uh, <laughs> and yeah, then, you yeah. know, you got guys like, uh, you got, guys, I'm not going to get you any heat, Brad, but, you know, you got guys like Hollywood Jimmy from Mississippi. Yeah. You've seen one Hollywood Jimmy match, you've seen them all, you know. I mean, yeah, I'm planning, but you got, I'm planning, I'm planning to see Jimmy on, on, on Saturday. Uh, Dustin, uh, they're going to have a Tupelo con. Uh, down in uh, over in Tupelo on Saturday. So I'm gonna you know, I heard about that. Him. So this coming probably... Saturday, guys, go ahead and tell me, tell us a little bit. Yeah. We'll, we'll yeah. put that over. What the hell? Let's do that. <laughs> yeah. Tupelo, yeah, I think Dustin, that. told me about it. So <laughs> yeah, yeah. As far as I know, now, uh, top of my head, uh, uh, he's gonna be wrestling in some, uh, uh, some. I think his name is Josh Turner. I think I, I believe he was an extra on The Walking Dead, and uh, and he's gonna be wrestling him. And uh, Derrick King, he's gonna be wrestling uh, um, some uh, MMA guy out out of Tupelo, I think. Uh, I'm some MMA club out of Tupelo. Right. And right. Jimmy and Jimmy's gonna be doing some stuff and probably just creating havoc. I uh, guess <laughs> giving giving everybody a hard time and and the, and the fans the fans go back at him and, and give give him a hard time too. So <laughs> he goes back and forth. 
So but tell me, Jimmy's Fred, me and, you got, me and you got one thing in common, and I see the picture on your page, and I may even <laughs> oh, use yeah. that. Uh, yeah. uh, I see all your pictures with all these guys. But one thing is Dave Meltzer now. I know you did. Oh, yeah. he was not a smart fan when you first started. Uh, was yeah. it the Observer that you found first that actually sh- told you everything? Yeah. Oh, yeah, definitely, definitely. Uh, of course, I guess I guess out of the – us. Uh, smart marks as as they say <laughs> nowadays we uh yeah we all read uh dave he's a he's a true pioneer for sure and uh and uh i remember one one uh, evening um they had uh, i think rick flair was gonna uh wrestle um sting for the uh, champion i think it was the wcw championship if I'm, i was correct i don't remember now but i remember they were talking about it rumors that uh that uh that uh um uh that uh, um, Flair was going to win it back from Sting, and and uh, and I remember driving in a uh, uh, snowstorm, uh, <laughs> driving from New York to New Jersey to the Meadowlands just to go see that in person. <laughs> oh yeah, well hard. you know I did the same thing one time, uh, Mid South Coliseum. Uh, word was all around. You know, I had sources or people that were working for the Memphis promotion at the time, and uh, they started whispering Flair against Lawler, Flair against Lawler. And then uh, closer it got to Flair versus Lawler at the Mid South Coliseum. Uh, you know, I was told, "Hey, uh, Jerry, Jer- uh, Jerry Jarrett's going to be there. Uh, all the NWA people are going to be there. You know, we're fixing to see a title change." Uh, and then, you know, the people that actually it was. I don't know if I should kayfabe this or not, but it was the picture that so, the people that sold the photos. Uh, I had a source with them, and so they told me the title's going to change hands. You need to be at the Coliseum. Oh, uh, man. I go down there, miss work, and the whole nine yards, and as we know, the title didn't change hands. But then the same people tell me Lawler's going to win the belt from Henning. He's going to win the belt from Henning. And mm. I was really um, – I was really pissed about them telling me that he was going to win the belt for Flair, and I didn't go to see him, and he actually did win the belt for Henning. So that was uh, when you when you're dealing with people inside the wrestling business, you never know what you're going to get. It's either the truth or just bullshit. So, uh, Nate, I see you all over the place, Fred, and you do you? I mean, you said you're in Mississippi now, but I see you everywhere. You're like. Uh, you decided to go to New Orleans for this, uh, uh, for, for WrestleMania weekend, but, yeah. but I, uh, where did you go before that? There's some other cards I've seen you at, some oh, of the big shoot. cards. Man, from New Orleans, well, I, I'm trying to, I'm trying to remember. Oh, of course, you know, we you know last year, uh, of course, um, I think before that was, I, I went to see that, just, I just went to see the Ring of Honor TV taping up in Nashville in Jan- January. Okay. And, uh, yeah, and I, I went to that and, uh, and last year I went to the I went I went up to New York to visit my folks and I kind of uh, surprised the, the dates that I that I chose to go to New York uh, Ring of Honor was there so <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> surprise yeah. wink wink right but uh, yeah. yeah I went to see the War of Wards 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 uh, uh, and um, at uh, Manhattan and then the next night I drove to to uh, Philadelphia to see the TV tapings. So it was it was good. I mean, you know, I I enjoyed it. You know, I just man, you could put you know. a lot of miles on that car. You know, yeah, yeah, oh yeah, <laughs> yeah, for sure. And you know, and of course, it's not free. Like I, I was telling somebody today that when I go to all these shows, it's not free. So <laughs> it's like somebody you know gives me a here a handout. You know, go see the shows. <laughs> oh, I know. I, I love it. I love the way you put it. You know, the thing about it is, Fred, if you, they don't know you. I love the way you always put, well, I'm hanging out with Cody Rose or I'm hanging out. Oh, yeah. They look at it and they think, yeah. well, Fred, yeah. hell, he has yeah. a hell of a connection. Yeah. He's got yeah. all these people as his friend. Yeah. Was- and, uh, and he wants to, what we're going to do, though, I'm going to take a real quick commercial break, Fred. We're going to come back. And we're going to talk about, because I've seen you all over uh, different places for WrestleMania, and I want to talk about the different places that you were at, all right? Oh, so sure, quick sure, commercial yeah, sure, sure. Eighties Tees is the leading online retailer of officially licensed t-shirts, specializing in retro movie, music, TV show, video games, comic book, and cartoon t-shirts. Eighties Tees has you covered. They have everything from GI Joe, Seinfeld, and Back to the Future, as well as 152 different classic wrestling shirts. Plus, free shipping on all orders over fifty dollars. Visit them now at our link, tinyurl.com/sts80s tees. 
That's tinyurl.com slash STS. Eight zero S T E E S. Visiting them at our link will cost you nothing extra, but it will help support this podcast. Now back to the show. All right, Fred, we're back here. Uh, All right, in STS Studios here in St. Louis, Missouri. Fred, you headed to uh, uh, WrestleMania weekend in New Orleans there, and I seen you. Uh, was you at? The, I seen you with different pictures, different people. Was you? Wh- what was the first show you hit that weekend? Yeah, yeah. The first show I got, the, I got down down the rest down New Orleans uh, on that Thursday. Uh, had to see. Uh, uh, I went to see the WrestleCon Super Show. Uh, one of the reasons I went to see, I wanted. I'm a big uh, big fan of uh, Kenny Omega, so I never seen him uh, in person. So I just had to go early, uh, a few days early, to go down there and see him. And it was a good show. It was one of those. A lot of the New Japan guys were there, so hey, can't you know could, can't beat that show. We're not going there, and and then uh, Friday. Well, wait just a minute. Let's talk about yeah. the WrestleCon show. Just one <laughs> second. What did you think when the King walked out? Oh man, I couldn't believe it. I'm, 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 I marked out. I, I couldn't believe. It. I said, "What? Oh man!" I see. I see him. I see him in Memphis so 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 often. It was kind of cool coming coming down here. And I, it, when when it happened, I, I remember I remember texting Dustin. Listen, star, and I said, "Hey, guess who's over here?" And, then, and he said, "Whoa, you know," and just, you know, I, I couldn't believe it. And uh, he said the reason that he was, uh, well, he came to the show. Uh, uh, um, he wanted to match with Joint Ryan because uh, it was a transgender anniversary. I think right, thirty right. years, and and uh, he was trying to celebrate that, and 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 he sure did uh, throw in a fireball. <laughs> At, yeah, uh, and we didn't Jody. know this at the time. I wondered why Lawler didn't get a punch in or do something, but Lawler had had a stroke. Yeah, about two day about two weeks uh, before that. While uh, I don't know, if, I I just seen this today the details, but he he told the news it was during some uh, uh, extracurricular activity with his, <laughs> uh, with his fiance. But that's typical oh, really? Lawler there. So really, yeah, uh, yeah. So the main <laughs> event. So WrestleCon, I've been hearing all about all kinds of a few matches there at WrestleCon. I got to see. I'm I haven't seen the whole show, but uh, what about? It was a really strange matchup with uh, the tag team of. Uh, of uh, Teddy Hart and um, and Scott Steiner, what did the fans live think of that? Yeah, yeah. Well, well you know that show. Are, are you talking about the, the TNA Impact show, right? Well, that's, that's T- right. Uh, I'm sorry. Uh, I'm sorry. That, that yeah. was the TNA yeah. Impact show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Lucha, Lucha Underground. I didn't go to that show. Oh, okay. Uh, uh, I ended up going. Uh, well, I went to the Rev Pro show the next night. Rev Pro UK show. That was in the afternoon. And then I headed, uh, then I headed over to the Hall of Fame, and I don't know why, because it was the longest, and and it was, <laughs> boy, I tell you, it was so long, and you know, at times it just went on and on and on, and 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 one thing I think what's gonna happen one day with that with that Hall of Fame ceremony, is they probably gonna end up putting it in, in a smaller venue, and make it faster, or maybe not make it faster, because as long as they have that WWE Network, they're gonna have content. To fill, you know, the time uh, to, to to fill, you know, the to have oh, the sure, Hall of yeah. Fame ceremonies go longer. So that's that's I think that's one of the reasons why they they have it so long so they can have content for their network. Well, I seen the <laughs> condensed version right there, a little bit of the condensed version. It looked like it was a lot quicker, and well, it was. It was only yeah. like two hours. So, uh, <laughs> you know, you got to put some kind of limit on a guy like uh, Hillbilly Jim or something like that when he <laughs> yeah. get in there and just talk. <laughs> Now you was at the Hall of Fame, and you know, where do we hit? What independent shows did you hit, or what do we do Saturday yeah, night? Yeah, and then uh, and then uh, 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 Saturday morning or Saturday afternoon, I hit a uh, Progress uh, up in Kenner, Louisiana. Uh, Progress Wrestling, uh, Tony Storm. That's one of the reasons I came came to uh, came to the, see the show. See, see Tony because I'm a big fan of hers, and she's like, you know, one of the best women wrestlers around. And I don't know why she not and the WWE on a regular basis. And I guess I know it's politics and she is young. I think she's 22 years old. So she has a future, you know, for, you know, in front of her for sure. And she told me that, uh, the next day on Sunday that she was going to be at, uh, at, at a WWE access. And I seen pictures of her over there. I forgot who she, uh, who she wrestled. Yeah. I remember again. that. Now did, uh, uh, so what show, who was all on that? So you said Tony storm, who did she work that <laughs> yeah. night? Yeah. Uh, Mercedes Mar- Martinez. 
Okay, I bet that was good. So yeah, yeah, it was, it was good. I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it. I met her. I met her. You know, she was very nice. Uh, you know, t- talking to her and all that. She's from um, she's from Connecticut. So basically, uh, the <laughs> you know the same area. You know where I'm from. You know up north. You know, so you know, so she was very nice to me, and, and, we, and we spoke. And and uh, but a lot of but the progress show. Uh, um, Matt Riddle was there, uh, tag teaming with uh, David Starr and Keith Lee against some of the uh, other guys from the from from the Progress, and I forgot their name. Uh, David David Haskins, I think, right, and um, and um, some other guys. But uh, oh yeah, Jimmy Havoc, and um, you know that was a pretty good match. It was enjoyable, you know, and just you know it, it was it was just a pleasure being there because since a lot of these guys that work mostly in in the UK and coming to the US, just like a, you know just it's 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 a it's a treat, you know, so to speak. What does uh what would what did a ticket to see that show cost you? I believe that was thirty dollars. Yeah, yeah, thirty dollars. So what about you know, WrestleCon? What about the WrestleCon show? Yeah, the WrestleCon. Yeah, I forgot I had I paid a, a fifty dollars for that. Okay. Okay. So fifty you, for that. Looking. Now, did you go yeah. to the NXT Takeover show? No, 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 oh, okay. no. I, I I didn't because um I went to the uh. House of, House, House of Hardcore with uh, Charming Dreamer and Rock and Roll Express were there, and that was pretty good. Uh, uh, Killer Elite Squad, they were there. That's one of the reasons why, why I wanted to go, because I wanted to see them. And I met Debbie Boy Smith. He was real nice. And Debbie Boy Smith had told me, uh, he had asked me if I uh, knew him from some, or actually, he told me he told me that he thought he knew me. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I guess. I said no, I said no. I mean, it's the first time meeting you, you know. And, you got, you got but, a friendly uh, face, Fred. Uh, yeah, yeah. With, uh, <laughs> that's what I need to do. I, I, you know, I just got a great idea. I need to throw some business cards to you and let you give them to all these people to be on my podcast. As many people as you're seeing there. Uh, <laughs> Yo, yeah. <laughs> so did you did go to WrestleMania then, right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. On that uh, Sunday, uh, uh, met up with Dustin and and Maria and uh, and a couple other folks, and uh, uh, they had that. Uh, we got there when I actually. Dustin and Marie got there earlier, but I got there. They had a, a they had, they had a, a WrestleMania block party, and Ric Flair made an appearance, and um, and he was you know funny as heck. He was just you know he was really entertaining, and it was it was it was a great atmosphere. You know it was you know the way they set it up, and we got in got in uh got into the uh, uh into into the into the Superdome, and it was so the Superdome was so big. That's my that's not my first time I've been there, but it's so big the the production was great and awesome it's like i mean i mean you're talking you're talking to a person that that i my first wrestlemania was was a wrestlemania 2 okay um not to change gears but <laughs> yeah uh, <laughs> uh 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 last sunday was my seventh uh, wrestlemania jeez so 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 i've seen but like i said my first one was uh actually my first one that i've, I've seen it wasn't live but it was a closed circuit up in New York, uh, like like 15 miles from New York City, and uh, and of course I went to WrestleMania too when they had the three three location uh, WrestleMania, and that was you know that, that that was history you know and you know I can't believe WrestleMania is still here, better and bigger. Oh well, yes, very much than, so. I mean that's uh, than, they probably think that's the biggest uh, profit wise and, and tickets ever. So we'll see. We'll see when the numbers yeah. come in and, and uncle Dave gives us all the numbers there. We'll oh, yeah. see now. Yeah. Now I want to yeah. know since you was there live and we've talked about this on the uh, podcast, yeah. me and Lance yeah. did Thursday about reactions and everything. Uh, I was listening to Dave and, uh, Alvarez talking about the reaction for the main event. Since yeah. you was there live, did, yeah. was it pretty much no one gave a shit about what was going on? <laughs> Yes, it's the, on the on the Reigns, uh, Reigns, Reigns uh, Lesnar. And Lesnar, yeah, yeah, that was kind of you know people chanting and all that, just kind of like, like you know not giving it any any attention. I guess they're just fed up with with either you know Brock or more Reigns. They hate him, and you know what they need to do is just put him heel and instead of because because right now it's a mixed reaction every time he comes out, so. So I I think it's gonna be great once he gets real heel. I mean he's playing heel, but he's not. And to be honest, I don't understand what he's playing. <laughs> oh no so, no. So, so what so was confusing. the rea- what the reaction? Of, you know, I, I said this that it's almost like uh, it was almost like two shows because after the Ronda Rousey match, it was uh, 
it kind of went downhill from there. Yeah, exactly. Uh, we, yeah, exactly. Uh, was there? Yeah. I mean, it came off on television as a huge reaction for for Ronda, and was that the way it felt there in the dome? Yeah, it was. Yeah, it was re- real loud. It, you know, Ronda did good. I mean, it was. Yeah, you know, that was like the match of the you know of the, of the night. I, I think you know, and you know, I think a lot of people said it was, but it was. Yeah, the reaction. It was. It was great. You know, I was kind of, I was kind of surprised because maybe because I was comparing. Her raw appearances every time, and you know, and, and compared to the Superdome and and in the big event, uh, you know, status, it was you know, of course, it would be a little dripping, and it was, it was dripping, but it was yeah, it was outstanding, you know. And, yeah. Now you I'm, know, gonna you, you, I'm gonna put you on the spot. A couple things on the spot here while we're wrapping everything up. Number right. one, you've been to a lot of wrestling matches. I know this. Every yeah. year, you're all over the place with different people. There's, I got three last quick questions for you. Number <laughs> one, and I'm gonna put you on the spot. Like I said, number uh, one, name the match that you think about. You've been to wrestling years. What's the one match that you can say, "Hey, I'm a wrestling fan, and I think about that match more than shoot. any other." Shoot. <laughs> that I've seen in person? Yeah. Right? Oh, shoot. <laughs> oh, man, I'll tell you. Well, <laughs> I mean, I mean, it's, it's, it's so, it's so, so much. I mean, you, just, yeah, you, know, you couldn't even come up with something. Yeah, All right. Yeah, well, so, maybe, so maybe so much. you could tweet which match if we, we decide. Yeah, okay. Yeah. So my yeah. second question is, I know you met a lot of guys and, and uh, the boys and has anyone just been a total asshole to you? Oh, <laughs> Oh shoot! Yeah. <laughs> well, I'm not gonna. <laughs> well, come on I mean, now, shit. you you can't kayfabe me now. Come on, tell me. I mean, really I mean you know, I mean you know, I'll be on number one. When I ask, you know, for a pick or something, or just say, you know, kind of pick, I hate to be that that guy. You know, right, I hate to be right. that fan. Like, oh, this, there there goes this guy, and I don't I don't want to be that guy, which I hate. You know, man. I mean, I guess because I I I um. Uh, you know, when I ask uh, for a pick, I, I'm, I'm nice, you know, res- right, you know, respectable, right, right. and that's how you got to be because if you're gonna get respect, you got to get respect. So of oh, course, that's I'm true. not. Like, well, well, that's awesome because yeah. you do get a lot of pictures, and I'm glad yeah. no one's. Yeah, that's you know, I'm, I'm, I'm nice. I'm nice, and of course, you know, but uh, yeah, I mean, I just, oh man, just and and like, uh, oh, 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 the David Boy Smith when I when I took a picture, he said, okay, well, he said, okay, well, you know. You know, make it fast, and <laughs> so right, right. Yeah, okay, here's you know. the last question. Now, now this is, a, this right. is a, and, and I know the answer to this, but I'm gonna go ahead. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and ask you: Have you ever sat through a good Dustin Star match? Wait, wait. You don't have to say it. I, I know the answer is no, no. Dustin, I, I had to put Dustin over here. He's one of as always. I I don't know if you know this, Fred, and we talked to. Yeah. I don't yeah. know if you know this, but I was at the very first match that Dustin Star had. Yeah, really. Yeah, really. That was in uh, um, Arkansas. <laughs> up in uh, yeah, yeah. Oh man, what's that? What's that little town? Oh man, he he always talks about it. Yeah, yeah. It was, and it was. He was god awful. So just let me tell you, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, he was scared to death and just hilarious. And uh, uh, but you know, he was on the opening. We were already doing our stuff at the time. But you know, Dust has come a long way. Uh, and I always wish him more than he gets. You know, I'm always like, you should be in TNA. You should be doing this. But, but yeah. him and Maria seem to be really happy. Hey, Fred, yeah. Oh, yeah. look, yeah. I want to thank you for coming on. Guys, I want to sure. thank everyone for listening. Thank you, Fred, for coming on. Uh, remember, pleasure. we'll be back here, same bat time, same bat channel, on the best little wrestling podcast in the business. Be there. Love my mama. All right, Fred. Thanks All a right. lot, man. Hey, thank you for joining us live from SDS Studios in St. Louis, Missouri. And that was another great episode of Shooting the Shiznit. A big thank you to Bob McGee at Pro Wrestlers Between the Sheets, PWBTS.com. Locals of Legends, Gene Jackson at www.localstolegends.com. Sean Garmer over at W2Mnet.com. Guys, we're at Comic Book Bark BT on Twitter at BT Shooting the Shiznit on Instagram. You can send a PayPal. That's right, a PayPal at Brian underscore Tramel, T-R-A-M-E-L, at Yahoo.com. All the archives are on our www.stspod.club page. That's right, Cool Kids Wrestling and MMA Talk Facebook group. You can join that and talk about wrestling. If we don't like you, we'll kick you out. 
There's also a shooting the Shiznit uh, Facebook page where we actually post all the new episodes. Remember, you can listen to this episode and many more on iTunes, Stitcher, Player FM, Pop Paradise, and Spreaker. And finally, a shout out to our podcast bros Suplex City Limits, Creative Control, Who's Right Podcast, P3 Radio. And guys, remember, keep it at 100. Patreon site is only $1. Help my buddy JoJo out there. Only $1. Join us next week. For another great episode of Shooting the Shiznit.